Hello, I'm Jenny Parker. In this video, I describe how to set up an online classroom using Blackboard Collaborate and explain some of the tools available to assist you to deliver an online training session. Go to Blackboard's website. It is www.blackboard.com. Once you arrive at their homepage there, you'll see on the right hand side a Try It for Free. Let's click on that. This will take you to the registration page. Just fill in your details and click on Try It Blackboard Collaborate. Then you'll be taken to a screen where you can check your software. If you don't have the required software, um, we'll give you a message with a link to say get software. If you do, you just continue on. Once you've registered, you'll receive a confirmation email and it will have information about how to access your class. You'll see there's two ways. You can come up the top here and click on the Get Started or down here at the bottom, um, Meet Now with Blackboard Collaborate and there's also the link that you can copy and paste into the browser. When you click on that link, it will take you to the moderator's join room area and it will be asked to type in your name as the moderator. I've typed in mine here, as you can see. And then you can simply click on your Meet Now. You'll also see information about how to invite participants and also how to review recordings. We'll come back to this in a moment. When you click on that Meet Now as the moderator, it will actually download a little file for you and you might have to let um, your computer know to accept it down here at point one. Click on the keep and then it will download that little file. It's a JavaScript file that will run the meeting room. And so if it didn't automatically run, this is how you just click on the, when you double click on that little file and go and open with and click on run and then it will ask you which sort of connection you have and you select from the drop down list and click on OK. So as you can see there's a few steps to getting there but once you've set it up and you've done all of that um, you'll be able to join your meeting room. You'll see the connecting information box come up and once that has connected you'll be taken into your room and it gives you some instructions about how to get started. So just follow those prompts. In this video, I'm not going to show you all of the things inside of the room. You can have a play around with that and you can also check the help files which are on the Ask website. And you can see here you've got a participant, you've got audio, video, um, you've got the chat box, you've got a whiteboard facility, this is a share screen facility and this is a web tour. So you just need to explore and experiment and make sure that you record your session um, it's a good idea to leave this little box staying until you're ready to start recording and click the start button to record it. Earlier I mentioned we'd have a look at inviting your participants. Uh, the easiest way to get back there is to go back to the confirmation email that you received and click on your Get Started Now link. This will take you back to your moderator page and if you click on the Invite Participants tab you'll see that there is a URL that you can copy and paste and you can simply email this to anyone that you want to invite or you could use their convenient online form, whichever way you prefer. When your participants receive the URL by email, they'll be able to just click on that and it takes them to this site that you can, um, looks like yours but without the moderator and the invitation information and they type in their name, whatever that might be. They just need to put in their first name if you like, or first and last, doesn't matter, and click on the Meet Now with Blackboard Collaborate. And they'll be taken through the same process that you did with downloading the little JLMP file and double-clicking it to run the JavaScript to join the room. After your session is over, you'll be able to see the recordings listed on your moderator's page. You can copy the URL for that. If you click on it by viewing it, it will come up and you can send that off to the participants if you like. But more importantly, you can put that recording URL on your Assignment 3 cover sheet so that either Tara or I can access it to mark your assignment. 
if you have any problems at all, remember to contact myself and I will help through the process.